what we do here is go back, 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 back. I've been seeing a lot of videos, uh, or some that have been cropping up on whether or not to hike with a gun, do you backpack with a gun, do you bring a gun. Uh, I thought I would throw my hat in the ring, so to speak, and let you know why I do it sometimes, uh, when I would not do it. Uh, benefits of doing it, <clears throat> so to speak. Uh, the first reason that I do that is I, I hike with a gun when I'm alone with my family and hiking alone with my wife and kids. I have done that with an infant before. Uh, I learned on one hiking trip we went on, we hiked into this canyon and it couldn't have been more than 120 feet wide, maybe, 200 feet wide, maybe. We started setting up our tent and then a mother moose started coming down towards our tent. There was nowhere to run. She could have killed us all. That was a very uncomfortable situation. She did just walk by very, very close to us. I did not like that situation and that was an instance in which I wish I had a gun, but I didn't have one. Uh, so, number one, hiking alone with my wife and kids. That was one, That is one opportunity when I would bring a gun. Second time that I bring a gun is when I'm hunting with my friends, last year I went hunting with a friend to go get some elk. Uh, we went elk hunting at late in the season. Uh, what most people don't realize is that when it's late in the season, the animals are usually in their wintering grounds. If the elk and the deer are in their wintering grounds, so are the predators. Uh, it was heavily littered with uh, mountain lions. Uh, I was warned about that before I went in, and so I did not go in with a rifle, I went in with a handgun for my own protection, I'd seen lots of tracks, and then my hunting partner actually went in with the rifle. Uh, it worked out very well. <clears throat> the third time in which I would bring a gun would be myself hiking alone, especially in some of the very remote areas. That's what I would do is I would bring a handgun with me. Uh, you may agree or disagree on this. It's just more peace of mind for myself. It's not that heavy. The gun that I carry actually only weighs 20 ounces. That's without the bullets. In the meantime, <clears throat> let me show you how I hold it. So this is the pack that you would use uh, as an example to put the gun on. This is how I carry the gun. You take your backpack. Most backpacks have this chest strap. This is key to making it work. Uh, what I use is I use a Blackhawk holster. The holster, I feed my chest strap through the holster and then it's as simple as that. Clips in and then the gun goes here. Uh, the gun that I use is right here. Uh, it is empty. It is an MMP shield, 9mm. Uh, nothing in the chamber. Uh, the gun clips into the Blackhawk holster, and then that's where it sits. Uh, there's no finger access on this, and I don't usually carry the gun with one round in the chamber. I know that's highly debated online. You can go look up some videos about that. Uh, simply depress the release, pull out the gun, chamber around, and then it's ready. Um, I really like this because it's accessible in the winter time if you're doing late fall hunts. If it's in your pocket somewhere you're not going to really be able to get that out if you need it and so that's why I carry this here. It works well on most hunting packs because if you're wearing coats and other material it actually sits on the front. Um, uh, but most of the time I will admit I do not backpack with a handgun. It's usually in precarious areas uh, when I'm alone. If I know there's a lot of predators in the area I will also hike with a gun right here. Uh, word of the wise, if I do see someone when I'm in that remote area, I will remove the gun. I will depress the release, pull the gun out, and I will put it in my pocket. Most people don't even know what this is. Uh, and I do that just so they don't get weird on me. It's kind of strange how people are like that. Uh, but that's how I carry my handgun when I hike. I would not recommend carrying a handgun in bear country. This is just one last word of caution. I was looking at Taurus makes an ultralight gun. It's the model 444. It's the 44 Magnum. It weighs about 30 ounces. It's a six shot. Uh, I was going to buy that 
And then the gun dealer that I was working with actually told me not to. Uh, the reason being is that they are well aware that bear spray works better. Uh, I do recommend that you buy bear spray and use it on bears instead of using guns. Uh, the bear spray works very similar. Uh, you can clip it into your chest strap here and when it's clipped here you can simply just turn it and then pull the release and shoot the bear with it. Uh, I have personally been through an entire can of bear spray before on um, two stray dogs uh, so I didn't have to shoot the dogs. Someone owned them. Uh, didn't do any damage to the dogs. The dogs went their merry way and I went my merry way and then we went on with life. I actually saw one of those dogs later uh, and he was healthy as can be. Uh, so don't, don't misinterpret. If you want to use a gun for bears, then that's your choice. I just don't recommend doing that.